it's time to change out the chain on my cross country bike. And I know that because I use a part CC2 chain checker. And when it gets to 0.75, I change it because I don't want to wear out the drivetrain to where I have to replace the whole drivetrain. So I'm going to use a KMC chain. It's been a while since I've used the KMC. So this is the KMC X12. It's going on a bike with a SRAM drivetrain, 12 speed. What I've noticed about using KMC chains in the past is they last longer. We're gonna see if that's the same way with this one. So in other words, the chain doesn't stretch as fast and chains don't actually stretch as in the metal stretching. What happens is the, the material, the, the metal and the pins wears out and the chain does get longer. Now, if you wait too long, you'll wear out the drivetrain and it'll skip and you gotta replace the cassette and sometimes even the front chain ring. But um, I'm gonna report on how this KMC chain does. How does it shift? Does it shift as well as a SRAM Eagle chain, which is what I've been using for a while? And I'll check it and tell you kind of how it's wearing. And so I'm gonna just real quick walk through changing this chain out, but most importantly, report back to let you know how this KMC X12 does on a SRAM Eagle drivetrain. So this is my cross country bike, Niner RKT9. <laughs> Look at that. That was from a race yesterday. I noticed it after the race. It's just a whole nest of pine straw. We'll be getting that out, obviously. Go ahead and take the wheel off. I love working on chains with quick links. It just makes it so easy. I normally go through a whole bike clean when I change a chain, but my bike is not that dirty and I've got some rides scheduled this week like tomorrow or the next day. So I'm not gonna bother cleaning it, but I do wanna clean the drivetrain. Always clean the drivetrain before you change your chain out. Just wipe down the front chain ring with some degreaser. Also wipe off the jockey wheels of the rear derailleur. It's time to take this one out of the box and we'll cut it to fit the bike, got the links up at the top there. That's kind of cool. Keep them separated. What I do is I hang up the old chain next to the new chain so I can cut the new one to be the exact length. You can also lay them out on newspaper, but you can see how much longer the old chain is. It's about half a length. So I'm gonna cut the new one right here and that's about half a length longer. So again, the metal and the pins have worn out to make the chain quote stretch even though like i said the metal doesn't actually stretch but it does lengthen we'll go ahead and break the new chain and by the way you always want to keep your old chain for a little while just in case god forbid the drivetrain is worn out and you need to put it back on until you get a new drivetrain or just maybe want to wear it in a little bit longer since you got to replace the whole drivetrain but yeah i always keep the old chain for a few rides before i throw it out now we're just going to put the new one on the bike there's a little plate on your derailleur and you want to make sure the chain goes on the outside of that. A couple times I've actually forgotten about that and it makes a pretty loud noise when you're riding and you're like, oh yeah. And you have to break the chain and put it back on. Put on your quick links. Well, since I'm doing a review on this chain and I like to be honest in my reviews, I'm having trouble getting one of the quick links into the chain. I don't know if it kind of got messed up when I broke it and I had to just re-break it and add a link back but that is uh yeah that's not cool i just can't get that quick link in there wow i've actually never had that problem before with the chain so i'm going to work on it i'll let you know what i end up doing um yeah that's weird so what i had to do is i had to take this link out uh, for some reason this particular link i could not get the quick link through no matter what i did so uh, i i took this out added another one and then I've got the quick link in there. So I'm gonna put the wheel back on, then we'll put the chain up at the top position and stand on the pedals and pop that quick link into place. So with the quick link in that position, I'm gonna put the bike on the ground and stand on the pedals. And we'll pop that quick link into place. So now what we're gonna do is go out into the neighborhood and do some hard efforts in the saddle in case it skips. And what you do is you put it in some of the gears that you use most often and do some just real hard pedals and hopefully it doesn't skip on the cassette. If it skips, that means you waited too long to change your chain and got to get a new cassette. I'll mention one thing that's very minor, but I do like on the SRAM Quick Link how it's kind of an off color. It's kind of that oil slick color. 
and that makes it easier to spot on the chain. I had to spin the chain around a bunch of times to finally locate that quick link to put it in the right position to pop it into play. So very minor, but it, it, it blends in really well with the chain. So fortunately, no skipping. I put some pretty hard efforts in and it was fine. So my method of changing it at 0.75 is still working. I think that's the original cassette. That bike is over three years old and that bike gets the most mileage of all of my mountain bikes. So uh, that's my advice. When it gets to 0.75, change it out. And I checked it with the chain checker. So right now it's at 0.2, brand new. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride it for a couple months and then I'm gonna come back and report on how it's doing. How's the stretch? Uh, it, has it gone much past 0.2 in a couple months? It shifted great around the neighborhood, by the way. So I, I would imagine it's gonna shift fine on the trails. So KMC X12 chain, I'll report back on how it does in a few months. All right, it's been two months riding this bike with the KMC X12 chain. I've done a couple races. I've done quite a few time trials for a project that I'm doing. And the shifting has been absolutely flawless. So there's two main things I'm looking for. One is shifting performance, and that's been perfect as good as any SRAM chain I've ever used. The second question is how has the stretch been? So I'm gonna measure it with the Park CC2 chain checker and let's see if it's gone beyond the 0.2. I would imagine it's gone beyond that quite a bit um, since I've been riding it for two months pretty hard, but let's check it out. All right, so we'll go ahead and do our measurement. And I'm at 0.25 maybe even a little less. So that, that's great. And like I said earlier, the KMC chains I found from past experience is they wear a little bit less than the stock chains. So that is my review of the KMC X12 chain. In my book, it definitely passes. If you've used one of these, let us know in the comments below what your experience has been. And if you have any other questions or comments, drop those below as well. Finally, if you found this video helpful for you, Give me a thumbs up, that does help out my channel. Thanks for watching.